day, YouTube. Today I just wanted to do a little bit of a quick RAM and CPU comparison video between Ubuntu 18.04 on the left and Ubuntu 21.10 on the right. Now if you're not familiar with the version, uh, the, the first part before the dot means the year, the second part means the month, so either October or April. So Ubuntu 18.04 did come out in uh, yeah, 2018, April there, and it is the long-term service release, so it's actually still supported from then up until five years, so about 2023. So you've got about two years left uh, of, uh, of actual uh, security and uh, software supports for that one there. On the right-hand side, Ubuntu 21.10, now this is a, a maybe a short-term release or a short point release. So every uh, six months or so, a new one comes out. Uh, for instance, 22.2 will be the, oh, my modems, uh, oh, my, <laughs> my mouse is sort of freezing up there. But uh, yeah, the Ubuntu, Ubuntu 21.10 actually only has about nine months of updates. True story. So a lot of people actually go with the long-term service releases. Now let's see, oh okay, maybe it's just my mouse, I might have to switch to uh, manual here. But um, let's have a look without further ado, what's going on with the uh, the CPU and RAM usage on boot up here. So I've allocated a couple of, well, four gigs of, of RAM for each of these machines. So we have, now this is pretty interesting, but it is probably something you'd expect. So. Ubuntu 18.04 is booted up from scratch, as is uh, Ubuntu 21.10, so about 800 megabytes on boot up. Not too bad. Ubuntu, the latest release, although slicker and nicer looking, for certain, uh, it's uh, running at almost exactly a gigabyte of RAM, just uh, seven, six, seven, eight uh, megabytes short for that one, so that's, that's pretty impressive. No, it's actually not. <laughs> I'm never a fan of any Linux distro that on boot up has about a gig of RAM just for the operating system. Just not a fan of it, unfortunately. And yet it is my daily driver, Ubuntu, but I am thinking about uh, maybe Manjaro at some point or even MX Linux. Now CPU, won't worry about that too much. There's a couple of processes going in the background for each of them, but they're mostly idling out otherwise there. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.